our quest to meet incredible humans achieving incredible things has taken the team at Humans of the Earth to the idyllic French coastal seaside town of saint jean de Lars, where a man is about to publish his 100th book on French croques de Guerre, the Cross of War recipient and World War I war hero, Cher Ami. A homing pigeon who embarked on a famous mission in 1918, flying 25 miles in 25 minutes to save a battalion of American soldiers in France, who were trapped on the side of a hill receiving both enemy and friendly fire. Shermie was dispatched with a note to deliver the important message of the battalion's location. Despite being shot, blinded and losing her leg on her way to deliver the message, she made it, saving 194 soldiers. Her taxidermied and stuffed body is now on display at the National Museum of American History. Frenchman Lionel Fiat Willow or Nestor Egbert Lionel Toed Mag Hugh Eckenwine de Aurelina, the Saxon Esther Cromwell or more Neville Dysart, the second Pantagonat, is about to achieve the record for the most books written on a single topic in historical history. Lionoff describes himself as humbled by his achievement, but that his motivation has never been stronger. I am a few time biographer for Sir Amy, the beautifully blue pigeon who was awarded the cross of war during World War I for her service to the Allies. I have been biographing her life for over 30 years and there really is not a topic untouched when it comes to the topic of Sir Ami. As seen here, I have completed 99 books on Sir Ami and I am about to write her 100th book. Up here we have the uh, we have the fiction topics of Sho Ami, uh, stories that I have created myself of Sho Ami's life, and down here we have the non-fiction, the stuff that has been proven to be real. Uh, this is somewhat of a national library for Sho Ami. Actually, no, I would describe it more as a international library because it is not in other institution. Uh, service like this in the world every single piece of information is located here the, you ask me any question on the life or show of me and i doubt you where was she born uh, yeah where, where was she born born um yeah born oui. Well, sure, Ami was born in the constituency of uh, Great Grimsby in North Lincolnshire, England. And uh, I had the opportunity to be sent on a research exchange program paid for by the French Museum of World War One and World War II. Uh, uh, and and, and, and uh, it was a beautiful experience to embark on. And uh, um, I, I got people to donate money for my trip and I visited the town to see where uh, Sho Ami was actually born. And all around North Lincolnshire there is a massive scale cliff with hundreds if not thousands of pigeonholes. Uh, and I scaled this cliff uh, with scaffolding to try and track down and find uh, which hole exactly was Sho Ami's. I extracted DNA from Sho Ami's body, which is now stuffed and located in, in the Smithsonian Institute in America. And uh, we actually uh, put dynamite and we fracked the cliff and exploded it to access some of the deeper canals which have been dug over hundreds of years by these pigeons. In using Sho Ami's DNA, we managed to find the exact location where she was born. It, 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 and we found it, it was a beautiful experience. Unfortunately, in the process of blowing up the cliff site, we did uh, have some pigeons get completely obliterated, but that is by the by. Devoting my entire life to documenting and biographing Sho Ami's life has meant that I have had to make many sacrifices, such as a wife, children, friends, and of course my parents who I have not seen in over a decade. But it is very much a sacrifice I am willing to make.
Uh, sleep is very scarce in my life, but uh, when I do get the chance, I do not do it without the the show uh, me themed ambience, which you can hear in the background here. It, it just helps me get over the second and post traumatic distress that I experience on show Ami's behalf. You're just thinking of her right leg being completely obliterated on that famous mission. I can't, I can't even think about it. No, we're not going to go there. We're not going to. Oh, well, I, I, I do wonder if this uh, leaf here could be show sure me in another life form. I am a firm believer in reincarnation and I often do feel that show sure me is present in the all life forms around me. Uh, I'm going to take this leaf and water it inside. Um, I have a simple room in my house and that is simply no squishing any of the bugs or living insects that you may see. It is simply off limit for fear that it could possibly be show a me. This is where you will notice lots of spider webs and bugs congregating in the corners of many of my rooms because I simply don't want to risk the fact that it may be show a me. I often feed these insects and incentivize their existence in my house. Which is why I think I have a big cockroach nest located under my oven because whenever I go to bake something or turn the oven on I always have a big horde of cockroaches running away to escape the heat like an atomic bomb has just gone off but I never kill these cockroaches because I always fear it could be shoot sure at me Live's books have gained both praise and criticism for their in-depth research and wide range of topics However, some detractors say he needs to leave the heroic war pigeon to rest in peace. I sat down with English historian Mark Turnip, who expressed his disappointments, and viewed that Lyoff's work is nothing to be proud of. What Lyoff is doing is completely rewriting and disrespecting the legacy of this, this darn pigeon, this, this war hero, and, and he's just spewing out all this fictional nonsense with his books, writing books on Shermie's love life. She's a darn pigeon for crying out loud. Seriously, have some decency and respect to the profession of biography work. But it is resoundingly clear Lyoff has no plans in stopping his relentlessly detailed biography work. I have written books uh, focusing on her love life both before and after the war. According to locals who I had the great privilege of talking to in Great Grimsby, Sho and me had to heart broken, after which her boyfriend, an Egyptian roller pigeon, flew into a power line and was then eaten by a cat. Uh, it basically documents uh, her emotions in the following days. And the second half of the book is uh, is more of a poetic monologue from the POV of Sho and me. Other books that I have written uh, have delved into her diet, her cooling patterns, her political beliefs, uh, uh, her toxic relationships that she was in, her hobbies and uh, her self-esteem issues uh, and uh, struggle to body image growing up. Uh, uh, and another book that I wrote uh, focuses on her involvement with a, a hostile gang of pigeons after the war who used to attack beachgoers and steal their chips. Uh, it was basically a very sad fall from grace for sure, uh, me, but uh, she certainly wasn't without her flaws, that's for sure. We, we. Today, Lyoff is officially publishing his 100th book on Sher and Me. Getting up at 5 a.m. is giving him enough time to prepare for the unveiling at the town's local community hall, and he is optimistic that the $2,000 hiring fee on the venue will earn itself back despite having failed to sell a single copy of his books in his last 70 publishings. This is a very important day. My 100th book on Shoemi is being published 
where by published I mean I am at my rented research lab to print off the book manuscript. It is an entirely self-published project and out of all of the books that I have created on Show and Me, I do feel like this is going to be the most successful book of them all. I'm just trying to get this printer working. The silly thing is not printing. Uh, for my 100th book, I have decided to go with a motivational business kind of topic. The title of the book is Show Me's 101 Wall Street Hacks to Make Money No Object. It is a very practical book and I believe that many people will be inspired by it. But it looks like I'm going to have to delay the publishing until tomorrow because I'm going to have to buy some more ink cartridges it's just printed, there's no seem to be working so uh, we're going to have to just wait till tomorrow, sorry guys <laughs> Sir and me, could you fly faster than a Prius? If it was crashing down in a blaze of impending doom, would you send a message to the fire brigade to put it out? Sir and me, if I wove together the most perfect croissant, would you find it? Sir and me, if my neighbor laid down pest poison, would you turn your head away in intellect? Sir and me, if I let you into my house, would you refrain from excreting on my nice carpet for just an hour or two so that I could talk to you without distraction? Sir Ami, Sir Ami, Sir Ami. Viva les Sir Ami.